How do you measure SHRM's credentialing program in terms of success? Is there a return on investment? So early on, uh, and, and to be fair, it is early, um, we have an amazing, amazing return. We're hearing amazing, uh, financially, it's proving to work. That is, at least pay for itself. Obviously, we're a nonprofit and we're not in the business to make money for the sake of making money. We have a broader commitment to our vision and our mission. But it is paying for itself. More importantly, I think it was an important part of a long-term strategy. It is a focus on practitioners, practice. Uh, you can learn HR theoretically, but when put in the situation, uh, you don't know what to do. And what our test does, our certification uh, protocol, which includes training, not just testing, but training and preparing one for the test, is it ensures that you actually have the requisite skills to practice HR as opposed to being able to pontificate and speak about HR from a theoretical base. There seems to be a coexistence now between SHRM and HRCI. Uh, is there ultimately room for both organizations to successfully operate? We'll see. I don't know. I know Sherm's going to be successful. That's the one thing I can tell you, uh, because I don't like to lose and my board won't let us lose. So, but I don't think in this world of uh, you know, multiple options that someone has to win and someone will lose, it might work out that way, but we're going to win. Is there a relationship between the two organizations? So I'm new and so not yet. I've not had any conversation with anyone there. I'm welcoming it. I'm supposed to meet, be meeting with their executive director uh, in Chicago at our annual conference. I look forward to it. So I don't have any baggage with any, I don't know them. So I'm looking forward to meeting with them and figuring out where we can work together, where we should work together. That's an interesting point that you are gonna meet with Amy Dufresne. I'm guessing yes. it's Amy Dufresne. Yes. That's an interesting point. And, yes. and, and how did that come about? Um, let me see. I guess someone suggested it, but I, she actually, I can't remember how it all happened. I know it's on my calendar, so that's what I know. So I can't say I reached out to her and I've not personally spoken with her. So she, I didn't reach out to her and she didn't reach out to me, but somehow we're, gonna, we're on each other's calendar. Uh, HRCI it, it participates in our annual conference. They will be exhibiting in our, in our hall, and so I'm going to invite her up and have some conversations. We've got to. I mean, it's, this isn't... Uh, necessarily a Coke and Pepsi world. I mean, and, and maybe it is, because both, both cola drinks have to exist and do so in the market. They will compete, but respectfully so, and uh, we'll differentiate where we differentiate. And, and, but as I, I can't reinforce, we're in this. We didn't launch a business. Uh, we didn't launch certification um, and not be committed to playing in this space and winning because we think it's important as we attempt to build the HR profession's reputation, we think certification is critical to it and therefore it's our goal, our 300, 285,600 members, uh, our goal is to ensure that all of them have the skills and the certification to, to help us build the profession's reputation.